here of this Matt once again and come back with another one that quite a few people asked for uh, Kevin Bacon really good actor uh, whenever he's in stuff he usually delivers really I enjoy Kevin Bacon as well it's interesting looking through the movies I have of his number one I didn't realize I did not have a few good men I thought I did I tried to fucking find it same with Diner I thought I had those two. I know you, back in the day you'd have, you know, not back in the day, not like when we were kids, but there's time let someone borrow movies and there's so many movies I have, it's hard to keep track, so I guess those two are gone now. So, Diner, A Few Good Men. Maybe I imagined them. But to get to the other Kevin Bacon films, I actually don't have much of his that I looked at it. My favorite, of course, is Tremors. Love Tremors to death. I know there's a TV show they're making. There's a rumor that Fred Ward will be a part of it, but I do know Kevin Bacon will star in it. I don't know. I mean, you've already had a Tremors TV show, and it showed that... It doesn't really work as a TV show, because what more can you do with Graboids? I love the first two Tremors films. I'm not showing Tremors 2, because Kevin Bacon is in it, but Tremors and Tremors 2 are some of my favorite films, favorite creature feature films. This one I love to death. I love the cast. I love the dialogue. I love the chemistry between these two guys. Stay Peter! Get out the way! Get out the way! How many does it take for a stamp? Is it one or more? Is there a minimum? Oh, stay peed up your ass. Uh, these two work fantastic together, and I, I love this film so much. This deserves a new Blu-ray with new features and interviews. If Kevin Bacon is willing to do a TV show based on this, he should be willing to sit down and talk about it. Same with Fred Ward, Michael Gross. But I don't think Michael Gross is in that movie because he's in Tremors, was it 6 now with the ice? I didn't see it. I'm not watching that film. I'm not wasting my money renting 5, 10, 15 bucks to rent the movie, however much it is. I'm not wasting my money. Unless someone wants to send me to it to review, um, I'm not wasting my time on it. But the first two Tremors films I think are the best and this right here, one of my all-time favorites. Can't talk about Tremors enough. My favorite Kevin Bacon film. Next up is probably the last Paul Verhoeven film I really enjoyed. Hollow Man. They did a directed video sequel, which was shitty, which Christian Slater was in, which I talked about with the Christian Slater video I did. But this is great. It's a slasher film, but with a budget and an invisible man. With a good cast. I mean, you got Kevin Bacon, Elizabeth Shue, and Josh Brolin, who's now Thanos in the new Avengers movie. And you can see him early here. An R rated Killer Invisible Man movie with some blood, gore, some really cool effects. Really enjoy this film. I mean, if you think about this, it's a slasher movie, it's a damn good slasher movie. And I really enjoy Hollow Man. I think it's a fun flick. And this was a Blu-ray that was sent to me as a gift. So I thank you for that if you're watching. Next up is Stir of Echoes. Now, this came out around the same time as The Sixth Sense. And I'll be honest, I like this more than The Sixth Sense. I thought the story was more interesting. I thought the plot went at a better pace. And um, this one got under the radars, sadly. But Stir of Echoes, I think, was a pretty damn good flick. And I don't think I'm the only one that would think this is better than The Sixth Sense. I don't hate The Sixth Sense to death or anything, but I do think this was the better film, and it did not get the respect it deserved back in the day. Well, The Sixth Sense got all the, the money and stuff. So, Stir of Echoes, to me, a better version than The Sixth Sense. Next up is Flatliners. I know my friend Mike OCP picked up the Blu-ray. I would like to pick this up on Blu-ray sometime. I did not see the remake. I'm not watching the remake. Like nowadays, I just don't want to search for movies just to rant on them. And 
I don't know, I just, unless someone wants to send it to me, I'll do it, but, I don't know, just life is too short, and I like doing videos like this. But, Flatliners, I think this is a pretty damn good flick. Directed by Joel Schumacher. Kiefer Sutherland, Julie Roberts, Kevin Bacon, William Baldwin, Oliver Platt. Pretty much how the sins within yourself tries to destroy you. How you have to overcome your guilt. Again, this is a good flight. I, I won't get too much into it. But Next up is Death Sentence. Which I do like this film, directed by James Wan. I do have issues with it though. I mean, the acting's really good. Uh, the action is hard hitting. It's definitely a gritty movie. I guess my problem, and it's not, I guess really it's not the movie's fault because that's the point it was trying to do. The point is that vigilantism is a bad thing. <laughs> that's really the. I guess this is based on a book, which was the sequel to Death Wish, and. I guess that's really what the author wanted in the first place, from what I understand, or could be wrong, is that vigilantism is not a good thing either. Because he gets revenge, but the cost was worse. Because if you think about it, one of his sons is murdered, he wants revenge. If he let it go, things would be alright. But because he keeps going it, the rest of his family's dead except one other son who was in like a coma and then he dies at the end. He's just a bad guy, but at what cost? And again, I guess that's the point of the movie, so do I really blame the movie for making its point? But I guess it's just a point that I'm just not favorable for. I guess that's what it is in these kind of movies. But I definitely think this is better than like the Brave one with Jodie Foster. And I'm sure this is better than the new Death Wish, which I did not see. But you know, I liked it for the direction, the acting. Uh, interesting to see John Goodman and the role he has in this. But I can't say it's a favorite movie of mine. And then these others are really sort of supporting roles he has because, like lately. What, he was in a film called Elephant White, which I barely remember. X-Men First Class, which I hated. R.I.P.D., which I thought was a piece of shit. Men in Black ripoff. Cop Car, which I forgot that I had and uh, did not like the film. Was not my cup of tea. He plays a villainous sheriff. And the stars, these two kids, and I didn't really care about the two kids, so Cop Car I did not care for. Black Mass I didn't see. The Darkness I didn't see. I know my friend OCP saw it. He didn't care for it. I think he was in Patriot's Day. I didn't see that. I know he's been on TV shows. I haven't seen the one show he did, which was... I forgot for guy I was called. I think he was going after serial killers or something. I, I didn't see that. He was in the Amazon TV show. I didn't. So there's a lot of stuff I didn't see, or haven't seen. But the the rest I have, he had a supporting role in JFK, which this was an interesting Oliver Stone film. You may think a lot of the movies bullshit, but this was really a <coughs> still a really interesting movie. Great cast: Kevin Costner, Kevin Bacon, Tom Lee Jones, Gary Oldman, Michael Rooker. Sissy Space It, like John Candy, like everyone's in this movie. And that's what made it interesting, as well as the story. Really intriguing story, JFK. And this is the longer first shit. This is a very long movie. But I like it. Of course, I got mentioned Friday the 13th, which he got killed with a neck. Through, through the, with a neck. Yeah, he killed with a neck. Someone took a neck and threw it at his neck. An arrow through the neck, through the throat, and the head. People remember that. Maybe the most famous death scene in the Friday the 13th films is that arrow kill for Kevin Bacon. I mean, I reviewed Friday the 13th. What can I say? It's 
It's not my favorite of the franchise, but you know, I like the film. But you know, I reviewed all the Friday 13 films for those interested. They're on my channel. Apollo 13, which I did a review for when Bill Paxton passed away, since I was doing like a mini Bill Paxton marathon. Good flick. Uh, Kevin Bacon, Bill Paxton, and Tom Hanks worked well together. Again, feel free to check out my review if you want to hear more of my thoughts. He had a small role in this, Animal House, which is he on the cover. Yeah, he's right there on the cover. But entertaining comedy. John Belushi, yeah, he passed away too soon. But yeah, fun, entertaining comedy by John Landis. And this was sent to me a while ago from a very nice guy in the UK. Again, I don't know if he wants me to say his name. Because he was sending me a bunch of stuff that had Bill Murray in it. And this is one of them. And it also has Kevin Bacon as one of the stars. But yeah, Kevin Bacon, Matt Dillon, Nev Campbell, Denise Richards, Bill Murray's in this. Not much a fan of this movie. I did watch it. Not much a fan of this flick. Wait, I'm not sure if he's in the UK. It might be Australia. See, my memory's shit. I, 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 cause I, I think this is an Australian thing, this one? I, I could be wrong on that. <clears throat> it's stupid for me to get that mixed up. It's not like, oh, UK and Australia, they're the same thing. I just have a shitty memory. I just, anytime I see this, I just automatically think overseas, you know, UK, but it's not specifically just UK. There's Australia and other places. I'm a fucking moron. That's true, too, but... Not a fan of this movie. It's just sort of a glorified Cinemax movie. And I'm not much a fan of Cinemax movies. Just if I want porn, I'll just watch actual porn. And the story wasn't really that interesting. The twists and turns didn't do anything for me. Really, the only thing I'd care for is Bill Murray. Which he's in the film for like five minutes. But, I don't know. Not a fan of Wild Things. And this got like, what, two or three sequels for some fucking reason. Yeah, just this just isn't for me. By the way, yeah, those are my uh, Kevin Bacon films I own. He's a good actor. Lately, I haven't seen much of them, and the stuff I've seen, like X Men First Class, RIPD, Top Car, just haven't been a fan of. But I still enjoy Kevin Bacon. I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested in his Tremors TV show that he's starring in. I'm interested, but going with low expectations. Either way, thanks for watching. Take care. And we will see you later. Bye-bye.